Okay. I'm at Gotcha. Is it LL Rico Suave or I I Rico Suave? Your Twitter. Oh, LL Rico Suave. Uh, All right. Cool. Also, if I remember correctly, there's there's like um there's power meters up on the top, right? Or no? Like um right here. That should be all right. Yo, can you can you go just bring up the um like a one-on-one -on -one match real quick? I want to make sure the layout looks right. <laughs> Hey guys, turn on the fight challenges. We need another box. He's getting another one. Okay. Alright. All right. Can't run anything until Ed comes back. Okay guys, we apologize for delaying getting Killer Instinct top eight arranged. We are clearing out whatever few little difficulties we are experiencing, but we are just about ready. So we ask you to be patient for just a little longer. My check, my check. Can you, can you hear me? Clearly, clearly, can you hear me? Can you hear me clearly or does it sound Yes, like I can hear you loud and clear and I assume the stream chat can as well. Mm. For those that are tuning in, welcome to East Coast Throwdown where we are about to start the top eight matches for Killer Instinct. Joining you on commentary is going to be myself, Yomi Arm Jacob Blake, and Mr. Rico Suave. What's up, man? What is up? Now for those who are curious, the, the loser side top eight currently stands as follows. Sketch 22, an upcoming Con Raw player, myself, um, I believe Rico Swab with all them losers. Yes, I am. And... Fighting base. And base. Thank you, thank you. Base, Rico, myself, and Sketch. And on the winner's side, including the two players we have coming up to play the first match, we have Yomi R and Salt Face, a very well-known Orchid player who is making a hell of a name for himself, about to fight against IQHQ J Slick, who has started to make some, to cause some damage with Arya. And then on the other side of winners, we have Cupcake88. Versus... And then... Alex Smith. We have Alex Smith, who made it in the top eight winner side with Jago. Characters you can expect to see are Jago, Orchid, Arya, Conra, Sable Wolf, possibly Agano, as I know Cupcake played him as secondary. And you, let's be serious here, you made the entire roster. Somewhat, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, probably, I probably don't play like five characters or something. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have quite the variety to present to you guys on stream. We are excited that you have joined us, and we are very excited to get things underway. At the bottom of the screen, those are our Twitter accounts, myself and Rico. Make sure to follow those and stay in touch with two prominent members of the KI community. And as soon as everyone else gets everything ready, we should be Yeah, should be good. just getting another box to have all the, the character unlocked. Yeah, earlier there was, a, there was a console that did not have all the Season 2 characters on it. Right. I'm not sure if that was ever... Well, actually, it did get resolved. Uh, Teeth Wag stepped in and provided us with just the last burst of internet we needed. Mm. Yeah, keep me on, man. Oh, I'm so tired. But yeah, um... Yeah, I just wish, uh... Oh, hold on. Okay. I know got him in losers. I was sent to there by Cupcake. Got sent to losers by Cupcake? Did the audio, not having audio, did that affect you by any chance? What's up? Oh, oh no, no, not this one. I was talking about the gameplay audio oh, early. Yeah. No, 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 not here. I'm talking about like earlier when we were playing pools. We we don't we didn't have any audio. Oh, yeah, they sound. Yeah, we had like no speakers at all. No, oh, that's that's good up here. Yeah, but I'm saying like earlier when we were playing pools, we didn't have like no sound at all. That was pretty. That was pretty lame. Yeah, from the from the player from the player perspective, audio cues are very vital to breaking certain attacks, and we had none of that going for us. Don't start yet. Wait until Ed gets here. I gotta fix something out here too because the resolution's not showing up right now. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, obviously KI is a very, it's a very uh, sound-based game. Uh, obviously, yeah. a, lot, a lot of people have a lot of different methods on breaking by going by animation, which is helpful. But also sound, sound in KI is really, really, uh, it's really a big thing. Uh, personally, me, even I, I can't break certain things without sound. 
uh, like uh, organ shadow flick flacks. I can't break that without sound. Uh, who also has a, has a funky sound that I can't break? I usually have a, I usually need to test break and breaking orchid shadow flick black for instance, but without any audio going for me and comma breaker, I couldn't break it all weekend. Yeah. Um, there are many kinds of cues you can use to help um, help your timing with when to break certain moves, like with audio, or with when your character's getting attacked or when you're attacking them. They all differ across the cast. Yeah, it looks right. Yes, Rico is still in. He's in lose top eight. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Actually, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Oh, this is how it looks, right? It's middle. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Oh, Rico, there seems to be some confusion in the chat as to whether or not you're still in top eight. Yes, uh, uh, guys, it was, it was stated earlier, I, I am in top eight losers, yes. Two out of three? Two out of three until winners lose Gotcha. So just so everyone here is aware, every match in top eight, excluding winners, loser, and grand final, be two out of three. And then when we get to the finals, we're going to three out of five. Huh. No, I'm, I'm honestly not a big fan of that. I, I, I actually did like the common breaker three out of five for this game. I think yeah, I game, absolutely loved it. The longer a set, the better. Yeah, it's not, it's not a fact about it being like just better. It's just uh, the game itself, this game is... I wouldn't say it's like Marvel. It's nothing like Marvel, obviously, but there's a lot of things that you have to do take into consideration about breakers and shadow counters and whatnot to worry exactly. about in a 2 out of 3. Oh my god, I'm tired. Super cold in this venue, too. I think I'm cold because I've been sitting out here for like four <laughs> hours waiting to hear about to play my Mortal Kombat pools and Street Fighter pools, which is taking. You haven't played MK pool yet? Nope. I've got to eliminate for mine. Three, two. Why? Uh, when you don't know how to fight Jackie Briggs or Tempest Kong Lao, it kind of hurts your chances. Right. <laughs> Both the players I lost to are extremely good, though, so no shame in that. Yep. I wonder what, 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 what are we waiting for now? All right. Both the players are warming up with their inputs in training mode. Oh, Get right. the nonsense out of the way before the competition flares up. <laughs> oh, that's right. I think we're waiting on, uh, uh, on a different box, right? Yeah. So anyway, how's everybody doing so far on the lovely Saturday evening? I know for a fact I've been enjoying this event for what it's worth, and I hope those of you who got to watch my stream are enjoying it as well. I've been to one of the East Coast Throwdown events, and I believe it was last year when I played Injustice, but that was the first time I watched a KI tournament. And I was drawn to the game ever since. I never went back. Matches on the way already. So it looks like I'm going to be fighting base, which is like a automatic combo breaker. Um, I did, I did, came out on top. So let's see if, uh, let's see if he did his, his homework and uh, learn anything from the matchup. But then again, it depends who I feel like playing against him. Then. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll be fighting base and losers. I'll be fighting sketch. And then after Soulface and Jace Flick finish up, we'll have Cupcake and Alex Smith. Right. Yeah, guns. I'm in lose top fake. I didn't answer other question earlier, but um, Cupcake sent me there with Saber Derp. I, I mean Saber Wolf. I'm sorry. <laughs> Saber Derp. This guy. That character's still really good. Really good. Contrary to what most say, yes, he's still very good. In fact, he plays Saber Wolf in a clever way that most other players don't. Yeah, he's a bit uh, he's a bit crafty with his wolf. Yeah. 
we don't have a challenge bracket to link you guys to, but we do have the bracket right here, and we're keeping you informed through the stream as best we can. So you won't be left out of the fun. And everyone, everyone's attention has currently been diverted to the, the stage stream setup for MKX, which I played on just a bit ago. I got my ass whooped by Forever King's Kong Lao. <laughs> Man, you got beat up by that scrub. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he is a scrub, though. No, I'm kidding. He's a, he's a, he's a very good scrub. <laughs> Yeah, Rock, we apologize for the delay. We're waiting on another console to be delivered over here that'll have all the characters unlocked. Rather than just the season one roster. And actually, Great Mind, you tuned in just in time to watch the top eight, which hasn't started yet. We're still getting another box, right? That's what we're waiting on. If I'm to sit here in silence, I want to talk about the players a bit. For example, Sketch 22. There was um, two other times I fought him. The first person won a Grim the Subscriber Tournament for Killer Instinct. He beat me like 3-2 after adapting my style. Then we played another first 10 set to get ready for um, ECT, which I believe was um, last uh, Thursday. And we are still learning the ins and outs of a Jago vs. Conrad matchup, which by the way, I feel a Jago has a reasonably good chance of taking it at least 6-4. But Sketch has really been on the rise. He's eliminated quite the notable names of his tournament. If I might remember right, he double jeopardy yeah, CD Jr. Winners and losers. That alone just tells you he's oh, not someone to be taken lightly. Yo, that has all the characters? And he's ready to cause more oh, yeah, yeah, damage. Alright, so we're gonna start now. You commentating too? No, Blake, all you. Alright. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Downloading the game. All right. Huh? It looks as if the roster is good to go. Come, come in there, we're in. Yeah, Junior's been eliminated. Double Jeopardy by uh, sketch, sketch. Yeah, as I pointed out already. <laughs> so we have here Salt Face. Yomi Salt Face versus, uh, what was, it, what was it again? IQHQ IQ. J Flick going with Arya. Latest character to be released and the last one, of course, in season two. <sighs> now, oh. Arya is quite the complicated character. It's basically three characters at one, each of which have different abilities of their own. One specializes in mobility, another in zoning. The third is, I would say, a very complicated mixture of offense. What? Well, well, I mean, I would not know all that much about Arya because obviously I use only Jago. I mean, obviously, you should be asking me questions about Arya. Yes, I sh yes, I should be. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, no, but let's get into the match real quick. We'll get back yeah. to Arya. So right now we have Sulfur versus uh, Sulfur Jason. knocking that drone aside. I'm not sure light. if Sulfur has any any match experience in this, but if I were him, if I didn't know any any matchup, I would just try to rush him down as he is right now as much as I can, so I don't let him breathe or get anything going. Yes, or if they're the kind of character whom you cannot allow to breathe. That right, shadow so by their one was difficult to break in this, the game. Yeah, this is something that Jay Slick has been running so far, is doing shadow uh, linkers a lot. Because he has noticed that not uh, everybody has not been able to break it, so he's using that to his advantage right now, which is not a bad idea. Um, it's good, good awareness. Nice. Gets Catch it! Jay Slick just in the recovery of when he was switching to another drone. Right, that was a very, very bad idea. You, you normally want to try. Oh, missed time that shadow counter against the overhead. You normally want to try and switch to a drone uh, during mid combo. And he locks out on that shadow linger. This could hurt. Nice. Now, the drones cannot recover any potential damage they've taken until they've been switched out. But you have to be very careful about where you choose to switch out your drone because you suffer quite a bit of recovery while the transition is going on. Right? Yes, indeed. So and just like you've seen right there, you can change very if you can change um I would say variations at the end of one of your combos. Yeah, but you can pick which one you want manually to search. So yeah. safely change into. Oh, but at, at locking the out, locking out again, a shadow linker. This is going to hurt. 
He finishes the combo just before the lockout expires. Oh, that's a punish. Oh, no. He could actually wait if she had ground with the punish, but he still takes it out anyway. Oh, he gets down to her last drone. Sulfate is covering his approach with the fire cats. Get Ooh. below! This might be game. Yep, this is game. Oh, no, not wait. yet. One more hit will seal the deal. He blocks the overhead, but he does not shadow counter. Probably still, still too afraid of that fire cat. No, he cannot be oh. oh. Oh, that's good. And Soul Face takes game one. What we were just about to see there is that when Jay Flick activated Instinct, he had none of the other drones remaining for him, so instead they called him three miniature support drones that just fire projectiles. Yeah, for, for each body part that she's actually uh, missing. Um, yeah. And another, another quick thing, guys, also. So Arya has three life bar, but that's, that does not mean that she has more life bar than the... No, she still had the same amount of health like everyone exactly, else in the cast. equal to two light bars. So each, I, I believe what each light bar, like, you would say, well, like, it's roughly 70% or something? Yeah, it's just that the equivalent two light bar is split across three, each of which are worth, like, 66%. Right. So if you let someone get in on you, it's very easy to get one of your drones KO pretty quickly. Like that right there. And as you can see, that life, uh, that body part just... Now he's in the blade body. Quick. This is a very quick base variation for Arya. Sawface fails to break the Shadow Linger, locking out the third hit. Blocks the overhead, but no Shadow counter on that shotgun knee. Nice Another overhead. overhead. And Mina goes into instinct oh, after the combo breaker. Nice so spin a bar, that Shadow uppercut, and brought on some damage. Block with charge nice. heavy, with oh, the overhead. Out of the pressure. And as you've seen there, when you grab an opponent, you're temporarily invulnerable. That's why the Firecat went right through Arya. Nice, get hit by the overhead. overhead. And he confirmed the Shadow Linker. Yeah, Minion Manual to launch her. Nice. Shadow Cat. A bit more damage. So, Arc is so deadly since it's because of her grenade mix ups and meetings oh, yeah. on Wake Up. So, like, she's a. Oh, man. She, I think she's a phenomenal character, man. She's not really. She's not really queen, uh, seen quite often as uh, since Season 1. Oh, yeah. Those flick flies that Orc is doing, they're always three hits on block. So, he could have Shadow Countered in between the second and third hit. And now the first live bar is gone from Orchid. All your is down to her last drum. J Flick needs to make something happen. He gets tripped guard by the crouching medium punch. Grenade. Go for the grenade Knock set up on knockdown. Go out pushing Arya out of the corner. Locked out. That's life. That's life. That's it. That's he game. could knock her out the window right now. And there you go. Uh, in my oh, opinion, oh. best stage ultra in the game. Yo. Arya knocked right out of her own office. Oh man. Ultra tech on blast. Out, out of business. Yep, Ultra Tech out of business. Salt Face advances. 2 0 over J Slick. And I just realized I forgot to edit the scores on the screen while the set was going on. That's fine, man. That's fine. I'm pretty sure they can hear us. They know what we're talking about. Yeah. Maybe people, somebody that's deaf, they can't, they can't hear us. So they, this is very important stuff, man. <laughs> they, can't, they can't hear us, so they got to see the score. You know, keep awareness. <laughs> <laughs> just show it, man. So All right, now we are going, going to have. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Alex Smith. It. Alex Smith versus Rocky, uh, my boy Jago. This guy. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Oh man, yo, it's so cold in here. Seriously, it is cold. I can't, I can't stop shaking. Can, can you like rub my arms for me? You know I'll what I do pass that? on that, Come dude. On, dude. Come <laughs> on. It's so cold in here. We we gotta keep body heat. You're a tough guy. You can deal. Uh, how about you sit on my lap and like we hug each other? Hell no. <laughs> Jay, uh, Blake, what is wrong with you, dude? You don't care about me? I wonder who would. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. No, nobody does care about me, man. No, they don't. They don't love me. Okay, I'm pretty sure Cupcake is not going final. I've never even seen him use final. I'm pretty sure the two players. There's a button check, button right? Check. Okay. Yeah, it's a button check. <laughs> now, from what I remember of running out the Argonauts matchup a bit of combo breaker, I don't think Cupcake's gonna want to block Argonauts. He's better off going Saber Wolf. Well, I mean, the, but this is this is the question though. Does Alex know some Argonauts? That is Even a good question. In my, in my fair opinion, I think Ag uh, Jago does extremely good against Agonal. Yes. But the question is, does he know it? Well, we're not going to find out right now because Cupcake well, started with set all with Saber Wolf. I don't, I don't blame him for going with yeah. Wolf. You, the you always want to go with your best gun in the tournament, and for him, the dog is his best gun. I actually was not aware that Alex Smith plays Killer Instinct. 
Oh yeah, he played it since uh, season one. He just didn't he didn't travel out as much at all. Then clearly I overlooked that. I'm and on obviously black now. he plays all the stream. Uh, stream and but what I saw of his play, he did pretty damn good. Yeah, Alex obviously uh, he plays all the fighting games such as Guilty Gear, Street Fighter. Starting so he's a very uh, fundamentally strong player, somewhat. It showed. So he, but he's going out okay. very strong against Wolf on that. This is really good. When you're fighting Wolf, he has no meter. You should, by all means, take Pressure. advantage exactly of the knockdown that you get on him because he has no meter. He can't wake up, so he right. has to obviously take the mix-up. His DP Pressure. isn't invincible without shadow meter, right? Exactly. It is quick, but no Well, get a jumping heavy. Oh, they both break. trying to bait the counter breaker. Oh, the reset! Oh my God, where are you, Grims? Grims, he's not around anymore. So <laughs> Alice taking a huge advantage of those resets. Let's see. Because if you know it, you don't finish a combo, the potential damage of the combo still carries over. Heavy, so if you finish risky. a combo in a reset, you cash out all that damage with so few hits. Oh, lockout. Well, I don't oh, know what he's trying to do up, there, but he gets ragged. caught by the wake up shadow claw. That's going to be shadow DP to end that combo. Wow, still not quite damage. enough. Do you see Those the damage on that? Did you see the damage on that? 65%. Yeah. That is it's one of the hardest hitting damage enders in the game, especially at level 5. Well, he's called it overhead. Confirms the instinct. It's only counter hit. He tried to hit something. And it didn't quite come out in time. Now, the crush and light kick you see there in Saber Wolf, that's plus four on block. And occasionally, a frame type consists of that crouching light kick and that back heavy punch, both of which are plus on block. Jacob's only way to getting out of that offense include DPs and shadow counters. Wake up shadow later oh, four. And, and he does not stop it. It's a shadow ender at level three. Wow! He has no shadow meter, Plus. he cannot counter that. Get the sweep! Nice. Get the DP oh, beam out of the shadow oh, move! He goes for a grab instead. He's gonna punish on that DP to take the first game in a nail biter! I don't know who got lucky for who, but that was so intense. <laughs> you know when I fought Cupcake, I didn't fare nearly so well. But just like that, I, you, I can't, can take you, you, this can't, guy. you can't sleep on the wolf because when wolf has instinct, it's comeback time. Comeback time, Yeah, maybe. those feral cancels, man. Either he goes big or you go home. And Cupcake is here to play. Now, one tool that helps Jago a great deal in this matchup is the fact that the wind kick crushes lows. And a common footsie tool to see from Saber Wolf either a sweep or a crouching light punch, both of which hit low, and so they'll lose that wind kick. So Saber Wolf will not want to get too carried away with that kind of offense against Jago that abuse wind kick. Right. Right, nice. Jump uh, that jump fireball. fireball Jago locking out! He's gonna get about 50. -ish. Decides to save his meter. Doesn't quite do the job. Gets the overhead. Now, a very tricky bar to say both mix up, and neither are reactable. And one thing I like about what Cupcake is doing is that he's not going with a block stream forever or canceling to a mix up. He's just going straight for the mix up when he's at the right range, forcing them to guess. If they give them any opportunity to DP or shadow counter him, which I think is clever. Nice manual, but he breaks the medium linker. Wins out that hit trade. No trip guard, crouching light punch. Wolf well, dashes back forward back. to a shot fireball. Oh. Cupcake breaks for juggle. Not that I felt that it was that worth it. Because you're only you're risking like taking 30 to 40% damage on a counter breaker as opposed to like the 10% damage you would escape. Miss well, the with the shadow DP. DP. What is going on? He should have done standing roundhouse instead. If the DP will not reach, roundhouse will make up for it at a certain range. Cupcake looking very strong. He's about to tie the set up. He gets the sweep to take the second game. Not giving out any opportunity to maximize his instinct ability and get any health back. A drastic <laughs> turnaround. Kind of would have liked him to pressure Wolf for that when, and from that jump, and he had no meter. Why, why would he backdash away, right? He could have done with for an overhead or to pressure low. To be honest, probably something I would have done because I tend to back off a lot while I'm yeah, on the offensive. Yeah, but you offensive. shouldn't, though. He has no meter. You, you gotta I know. be aware of this, so obviously you want to take advantage of it. I think he's worried about Saber Wolf's footsies, which are very strong. There it is, as I was talking about earlier, the frame trap off a crouching light kick in the back heavy. Yeah, that is good. Uh, I believe he's what plus three on block, plus four. Plus four. Nice, right, very, very strong for <laughs> for a And they say Jacob's only option to counter that are DP or shadow countering, which had to be on a very hard read. Nice. He, he beats out that attempt, to escape from the corner with a jump using shadow DP, and that puts Jacob's instinct to waste as far as health gain goes. But he can still utilize his frame advantage. He just got to get in there. No check after that launch heavy. Again, no check after that launch heavy. A wake up close medium punch? So, I don't even think he wanted that. So uh, so simple in the mix up from Wolf um, dashes, but it's super super. Whoa, effective. confirms on the overhead, the shadow wind kick. And he oh, locked out. This could be big. 
No. Oh, oh he, could've he, could've, he could've built himself a little bit of instinct if he'd done it around the world. Uh, I don't see any. Any boxes? Is this? Oh, Cupcake's about to close it out. Those juggling, he dropped a DP. DP? No, oh, Back dashes, that. his DP. Oh, oh he, he breaks, breaks the heavy it. auto double. My God, if he had not broken that, or if he had locked out, Alex could have gotten himself a chance to run this back. It's dead. Support, but he would take that risk because he's on his first life. He doesn't, he doesn't care. Alex. With no help. Yeah, no Alex. reason for him not to take that risk. But that situation could have gone so much better for Alex. We will now be seeing him in the loser's bracket. Okay. Who's up next? Yeah, timing that back dash against that DP just with getting up was amazing. Hmm? Yeah. Alright, so next we're gonna have Gamer Blake versus, versus Sketch. I'll be back Sketch. with commentary after I finish. See you guys in a moment. Alright guys, I would think I might be doing this solo, so I'll, I'll try to the best of my knowledge to, uh, not even knowledge, the best of my energy to keep up with the commentary here. Um, but so far, how's everybody doing so far on this uh, lovely Saturday evening? Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, honestly, to be quite completely quite honest with you guys, I'm actually pretty tired. I did my pool matches around, uh, I believe, noon. And I have been waiting for countless of hours <laughs> for this thing to start over again. So excuse me if I'm a, if I sound or if I am a bit uh, powered down on that. Hey, what's up, Dido House? I see you in the chat. What's up, big man? See you guys. Thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate the, you know, the community being here, supporting the game. What's up, what's up, what's up? I have uh, Saul Face joining me on the mic. So I won't be doing this solo. What's up, Rico? Yeah, what's up, big man? Good stuff, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank you, man. Yeah, dude, you're... It's good that you're, you're able to play with headsets, dude. Like, playing with no sound over there. Yeah, like... What I, one of the things I did at Yomi Gaming that most people don't even know about this, I actually would play Killer Instinct and I would turn the volume completely off in order to get used to playing this game with no sound. Right. So I would only be able to use my eyes in order to break things. Uh, that's a good strategy, honestly, but it, it, it shouldn't come down to that, to be honest. Like, yeah. obviously, if you go to a tournament, you're supposed to go with, you know, with the equipment, sound, whatever, because that's how some people train. Exactly. You know, some people do train with just, you know, hearing to the sound to break things and whatnot. Yes. But, uh, but uh, none nonetheless, good stuff though. Good stuff. Um, All right, looks I'm like I'm not. I, I don't know how to change the names for this. Uh, let's see. It's right here. We gotta type them here. Okay, so player. Who's player one? The player one is Blake. Player so Blake. Uh, Yomi Gamer Blake. Actually, Yomi Jago Blake. Jago Blake. Yeah. And then uh, this is sketches. The sketch or just sketch? Uh, sketches two two two, I believe. So what we do? Uh, it's safe. It's safe. Yeah. Uh, Did it work? I don't know. Uh, that mouse feels very hard. You might need a new mouse. Should have gone through. Uh, well, you're trying to fix that. I don't know. Whatever. Let me see. See, see over there. Let's. Uh, it says. Never mind. It says Alex Smith and Cupcake. So. Give me one sec. No problem. So Yo, while he does that, uh, so yeah, so Sketch is uh, quite surprisingly uh, surprising a lot of uh, a lot of people in this tournament so far. Obviously by beating Junior and I forgot who else he beat, whatever, uh, in his pools to make it through. But nonetheless, he's having a good turn now uh, for his for, for his first major, for his first tournament. So it's pretty pretty impressive for uh, Sketch. So far, he has a uh, nice particular setup with Conrad that uh, apparently he still has a safe counter break. He actually caught a uh, few people with that today, and I, I, I saw that. So that's a good thing to know. 
Let's see here though. Uh, Sketch is on the still life lead. Being nice and patient. As I would expect from uh, Jago Blake, because that's his playstyle. But I would like him to see him a bit more aggressive, especially when he gets the knockdown on Khan Ra. I feel that's always been a problem with Jago Blake, is that his aggression, once he knocks an opponent down, he does, he's, yeah, not, he's, he's, he's too passive. Exactly. He's too passive. That's something I've told him he always, I felt he needed to work on. Because I, I believe he saw me play this matchup earlier, and I was I was pretty much being very uh, super aggressive against uh, Sketch. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think being you can be somewhat passive, but at the right you know moment. But against Conrad, you don't want to be too passive against Conrad. Exactly. Otherwise, you give him all the space and all the tools he needs. Yep. You, you know give him all the time to start setting you up, start start annoying you, start building meter. And Blake decides immediately to go hit, hit, hit rematch. Okay, I like actually like the aggression here that he's doing. Yep. He's, Conrad he's, has no sand on the ground. This is a great time. Okay, now he's got a sand puppet on the ground. Got to be careful. So I noticed uh, with Sketch, Sketch is a very jump back Conrad to uh, throw out Scarrows at a certain angle. If you if you are able to rush him down and eliminate the Scarrows as you're rushing him down, uh, without taking any risk, as in by risk I mean like uh, for instance when Jago tried to hit him. He did get hit by the Scarab, but that was because he misplaced his jump. He has to jump at a certain range where his poke would hit the Scarab, but he's able to be safe from uh, from Conrad from punishing him on the way down. Okay. But, uh, you know, obviously he has to, has to work on that. That's a pretty dirty setup. You actually should backdash that. That's actually your best way to get out of that. Misses a wind kick, so uh, I'm assuming Blake seems pretty desperate now. Yeah, to he's throwing a wind kick. Gotta watch his legs there. See, I feel like Blake should use more of his fireball in order to like to give him something to walk behind, yep. some protection at least yeah. from this. Sketch, sketch, uh, comrades. It's very, it's very different. Uh, by different, I mean like he doesn't really necessarily rush you down or force stuff. Mm -hmm. He pretty much lets you hang yourself by throwing a scarab at certain spots and try to pick it up with. Uh, tries to uh, convert it off with the tornado move. It's because I basically. That desperation works because a lot of people are just desperate to get yeah, in on Conrad. Yep, yep, exactly. And then the minute that he sees that you're kind of stuck, which is lingering around, he'll you know, throw in a command throw here and there. So it's a pretty, pretty good solid strategy. See? You get hit by the Scarab. He obviously confirms that off and picks you off. Launcher. More Scarabs. It's another sand puddle on the ground. See? He pretty much he just lays the angle and then... Once again, Jago uh, Blake not being aware of the Scarabs wants to jump and eliminate that. But it's different now, see, because Sketch is being confident. He's jumping towards him as opposed to jumping away. Yeah, like, he feels that, like I said, Blake has not been playing. All right, he actually got some health back. He's out of danger now. But, he's locked, but his instinct is gone now, and now Sketch has his. This is going to be a lot of trouble to deal with here. Man, this is this is pretty intense, guys. This, this is tough. This is a hard, hard. Jago had his opportunity to get some of his life back, but he had no luck of getting any of it back. Uh oh, this could be big. He has two meter, but he breaks the medium linker. Oh, the sand explosion, and he lands right, in a scare. Up, so uh, I'll be back on the mic, guys. So wish me the best of luck. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Good luck, man. I might have to. Who's playing now? I don't know. Yeah. I'll say that. It looks like we got coming up next. We're going to have base. And against Rico Suave. Um, CD has actually been eliminated. He was eliminated in polls. He lost to Sketch. Yes, CD Jr. lost to Sketch twice, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, everybody. This is Alex from Team Replayed. Shaking off that salt right now. <laughs> it's not the best I've played that matchup. Um, yeah, that was actually my pool. Uh, one was CD Jr. and Sketch. Uh, uh, Jr. lost to Sketch. I sent Sketch to losers in the winner's final of the pool. 
and um, sketch me to here again to make it out. Here's something I'm wondering. Rico has been playing Aria pretty much the entire tournament. I'm very interested to see, will he uh, continue with Aria? He has so many characters, man. This guy plays multiple characters at a very, very high level. So it's, it's hard to say. <laughs> Rico Selfie Suave. Funny enough, that was the name that came up when I typed it in. So I'm just going with it. <laughs> Soul searching right now. Yeah, right now Rico's thinking about what character he should use here against base. He probably already knows. As you know, the, <laughs> I think as he you, already knows. As you guys already know, the last big tournament it was me and base in grand finals, right. and base uh, he defeated me three was games that, to two. Was that Commonwealth? Yeah, it was at the Commonwealth. Okay, yeah. So he's gonna pick the club. But right now, base has his work cut out for him. He's he's starting this top eight and losing bracket. Yeah, man. You have to do Both so much work. Have. And now Rico decided to go with that patented thunder. Here we go. Button checks are over. Go with a knockdown, 12%. See, the main thing with this matchup is that once Thunder knocks Spinal down, Spinal cannot hit up safely at all. This Spinal players consider this matchup very rough for him. Probably just wanted that counter pick. Look at, that. Look at that. Rico is just staying all up in his face. He's like, I'm not giving you a chance to breathe. Look at this. Yeah, once once Spinal gets his, his offense going, it's tough to deal with. So I think Rico would rather not have to deal with it at all, but he's going to have to. And and now Base is going to steal that meter, steal that instinct. Here we go so with a setup. Up overhead. Steal some more of that instinct. Ooh, good grab. Counter hit. Look at that, and Base almost still has a full instinct. And he's still in instinct Rico mode. Rico has no kind of meter at all right now. Rico has nothing, but right now he's still, that, that instinct's finally running out. He still has Base in the corner. Okay, he had Base, base, base in the has, corner. His force goes still. But he's still in instinct. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Reset. Oh, those, the heavy auto doubles. Doesn't get the ender though. And so with the heavy linker oh, to a medium. A level four ender, launcher. Fireball to EX Fireball. Oh, wow. I think and, I'm getting called for that. Wow, and base is going to take game yep. one. First game. Yeah. Okay, so I, I don't have to play Mortal Kombat just yet. Alright, let's see how Rico's going to adjust. He immediately hit rematch there. Rico was doing very well. It's just the problem was that um, base got that mix-up going. He stayed in that instinct mode the entire time. He just like stole all of his resources. Yeah, Ooh, hits really him hard. with the jump in the overhead. Oh, he does it, tries to use the overhead to catch the back dash, but it didn't work out for him. Oh, no, and the counter breaker. This is going to be huge. Level 4 ender. Skull you steals his instinct. Shout out to me, bro. Puts him in the corner. It's a command grab. Wow, that punished. Oh, no. Okay, takes the first bar. And Rico decides to go with the battery ender there, a hard knockdown, and waste as much of that instinct of spinals as he killed. And right now, ooh, that was a good mix-up, but it just didn't pay off for him there. But he lands a grab, so he's still in there. This is really a battle of resources, I think. Spinal is always at his most dangerous. Once he has those skulls and he has yeah, those resources going. He has skulls. But right it gets ugly quickly. Ooh, that was an excellent combo breaker there. Oh, yeah. oh jumps over. He hits grab. Does two shadow fireballs. Ooh! Uses the power of the power to eat the low slash. Gains himself a skull. Two skulls. And now look at that. He is just taking Thunder's meter for himself right now. That's a punish. This is where his final has to be, really be careful when 
Rico has this instinct. It is one of the scariest things. What? Is he gonna go for a reset? Oh. He tried to reset him again. Wow. Look at that white life. It's still sitting there right now. Uh oh. Hit, Hits hit. him with the low. Oh no. Don't break. Now he's stealing Thunder's resources again. Hits Not him with gosh. the shadow command grab. And now look, he has had spinal all the way in that corner. He backdashed the command grab. Wow. And right now, are all plus. Rico's in trouble right now. He, he cannot panic in this corner. Okay, he managed to get work his way out of the corner. He can still go either way. Oh, it's okay. Life is about even now. This is still not over yet. This is not over yet by a long shot. Who's gonna get? Oh! oh. Jump! Uh oh! Oh no! He's gonna lock out. Nice. Oh, he, he broke. Clutch break. Oh my gosh! Overhead connects, and that'll do it. And now we are tied one to one, ladies and gentlemen. Does base have any other characters? Not that I, I think it would be a good idea to switch, but. I wonder how base is gonna do here. Put uh, the camera on the wrong people. <laughs> All right, we're getting back into it now. Here we go. Now we're some money. Right now. Ooh, catches, catches the, back, the back, back dash. Hard knockdown again. He has worked spinal all the way to the corner. Shadow command grab. That raw, raw damage. 27%. It looks like Rico is content to just take those hard risks. So he doesn't have well. So that he wouldn't have to deal with this. <laughs> now, now Rico is in that land that nobody likes to be in. Spinal land. In the corner with choice. instant going. Resources fun. getting drained. Oh man, this is They're even on life, but not situational. Ooh, nice what a counter. nice shadow counter there. The uh oh, Rico locks out, and that's gonna be first life ball for him. Hits him with the grab, has him in the corner. Four skulls. Look at that. Four skulls. Hits him with the forward dash into command grab. And now we're they're both on their last life bars here. Thunder's instinct's running out though. What are Rico's gonna do with it? Oh, he oh, teleports out the overhead. For, for going for the overhead. Good combo breaker. Good combo breaker. Everyone's quiet, focused on watching the end of this match. Both players look intense. Oh man, here we go. What's oh, hits him with the overhead. Oh, the throw mix ups. Oh no. Look at the raw damage. Here we go. Hard knockdown. Ambiguous oh, jump in corner. time. Yeah. Oh, he goes for empty jump low. Good tech on that grab there. That was excellent. He tried to uppercut that, but he didn't input it correctly. How did he get through that? Fireball? Because the, the slash has lower body immunity. Wow. Oh no, Rico's in danger right oh, now. He went for the oh, and the counter breaker oh, and base my. takes it. So, Rico Suave is eliminated. Rico Suave going home. My gosh, this is a crazy use of practice. It's a crazy tournament, really. This really is. Base with the clutch hard read. Good stuff. I think I might be up next. You might have to fight, I think it may be Jay Slick, or uh, I think you might have to fight Jay Slick next. Maybe. Uh, or would it be um, the Conrad player? Sketch. Oh, you might have either Sketch or Jay Slick. Yeah. One of those two. I, th I we, think you might have Jason. I need a, a TO to let us know. Is there an adult, anyone over here? Give me that. No. Okay. Oh, we have the bracket. Never mind. <laughs> let me get that. Okay. You go play Sketch right now. Okay. Sketch. Alec, you're up. Good luck. Okay. Later, y'all. Hey, uh, how do I type your What do I type for your name? Alex. What type for your name? Your name. 
RPD Mac Alex Smith. RPD MCC Alex Smith. All right, everybody, if you're wondering, this was Sawface on the mic over here with um, over here at ECT. Just joining the show right now, pretty What's much. Up, team? How many uh, viewers do we have? Uh, let me see. Right now we have 879 viewers. Pretty sick. What's going on, guys? Okay. Uh, Let, gotta update this. Uh, Bass. On uh, the score. Uh, was that 2 1? It was 2 1. That was a really good set. Um, yeah. There you go. Killer instinct. Alright. Yeah. You are. ECT is actually located in Morristown, New Jersey right now. This year, yeah. Uh, we were going to be in. God, the town is escaping me right now, but uh, right, it, it was where. the same hotel as Apex, and uh, it got condemned. Sketches, right? Yep. Sketch 22. Sketch 22? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do your commentary soon if you want. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Ed Tuscan. I'm a uh, coordinator for ECT. I don't know anything about Killer Instinct. I'm just going to say, Go and leave, Go and leave it to me. <laughs> uh, here we have Ryu against Dawson. Um, nah, Conrad. Conrad is what Dawson wishes he could be, okay? He wishes he could be Conrad. All right, and it looks like button checks are over. We're going into this. We got Sketch against Alex Smith. I can see this being a little tough on Jago. It can be, but once Jago gets in, life is very hard for Conron. But you see, what Conron's gonna want to do, he's gonna want to apply those, he's gonna apply one of those setups, set up those scarabs, basically make an obstacle course for him to get through. See right here, you see I'm talking about this obstacle course he's gotta try to get through. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, no, and he dropped the manual. Alex has got, he's got to land those conversions if he wants to win this. He cannot give Sketch second chances like that. And did the Scarab stay? Oh, that's the Scarabs will stay for a certain amount of time. If you can set up a meaty like that, though, that'd be cool. See, uh, look at it. Alex has got his work cut out for him. Tries the heavy wind kick. Runs into the scarab, but he breaks the combo. He's in his face now. Lands the throw. Ambiguous jump in, failed. The uh, sand explosion. He gets runs all the way across that screen now. Oh man, this is so. This is tough. Oh, okay. Hits him with heavy wind kick, but drop another manual. Alex isn't really playing like himself today. He said that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sure. Hits him with the lockout. Is he gonna do it? Yes, he does. 50% combo. Takes a life bar. Alex is still in this. This is not over. What a cheap character. I don't know if it's a cheap Oh, he breaks the medium auto double. He got too greedy for that. I felt he should have just ended that combo. Oh, no. Gets hit with a command grab. Recaptured. Oh no, and all and all of that instinct is just gone and Alex didn't get any health back. Oh yeah, man. Still has this is gonna be tough. One hit is he's kept, look, he's kept full screen. He's gotta work his way through an obstacle course. Oh and that's it. He's in danger, locked out, there's nothing he can do. Conrad takes the first game. I wanna see one of those stupid big combos before the end of the Right now, Alex is thinking about what he needs to do. The, do you know if he's versed in any other characters? Uh, clearly not. And right now, sketch up 1 0. Throw. Alex has Conrad in the corner. He has him right where he wants him. If he can keep him here. Oh no, that sand explosion gets, his, gets out of there. Uh oh. He puts a curse on him. See the blue aura around him? Yeah, what does it do? Like Slows that? him down. Really? Makes your jump walk higher, makes your normal slower, makes your jump slower too. Pretty good. Does it cost a bar or something? No. Certain attacks. Maybe he's getting back into it right now. Alex, he's he's trying to work his way through the obstacle course. Locks out again. 
Tries to block more scarabs into another sand spike, another sand explosion. Oh, it gets hit with the instant jump kick. And all that instinct is gonna This is not looking good right now for Alex. That is like a lot of equity loss. Like what he has, I feel he has to do, yes, you have to get in on Conrad, but you cannot panic when you do that. You panic, you are giving Sketch free damage. Alex is uh, probably one of the best naval players in America, and he should have a better time getting out of this hits him with another sand explosion that was a good shot of winky fig knocked him out of the air he's got to be careful oh no he tried to bait a sand explosion but gets grabbed now he's slowed again yes oh my goodness this will take a miracle that is game there is nothing alice can do it is over Good game. Alex Smith is going home. Alex Smith is actually going right over to Mortal Kombat pools. <laughs> Give it. Let's get base and J Slick. Yeah, let's get that. Let's base, J Slick. You, you too. I know it's got to be a lowercase i, but it's not letting me do lowercase. Say that again. I'll put a space in front of it. Okay, what was it again? IQ HQ. Lower H. I think, I don't know. Just make sure the sponsor gets there. J Slick with a K. And then you can take the sponsor. Right now, button, no button checks here. We are going straight into this. We're gonna have Spinal against Arya. Now, I have never seen this matchup play out before, but I'm pretty sure it is gonna be a nightmare once the Spinal gets in on Arya. And right now, like, Ace is just all up in there right now. Jay Slick, he's already lost one of his drones. Oh, man. This is gonna. This is looking rough right now. Activates instinct. All right. Right now, base has not let up for one second against him. He's right. He just got out of the corner for two seconds. And he got put right back into it. Gets hit by the jump in. Locks out. Does the Shadow Teleport Ender get all the damage he could? This did 64%. Okay, now base locks out. Let's see what Jay Slick can do here with this. And right now, look at all this pressure. All right, Jay Slick gets a hit. And base locks out again. That shadow move is very hard to break if you've never really dealt with it before. I can tell you that just from experience earlier. Gets grabbed. Oh, he's used the drone switch to avoid the fireball. That was intelligent. And 
right now, all oh, men. EX Shadow Fireball, Shadow Teleport takes it. And now, just like that, and just that quick, base up one to zero. I wonder what Jason is gonna do here. He needs. Thank you. I feel it is. This is time. He needs to go. He needs to go. I feel with what, what he's no, what he's known for, his Folgor. He's had a great run with Arya, but right now his tournament life is on the line. He needs, I feel, to go. Rico has an arcade stick. Where's Al? Check that bag. I should have a Yomi bag nearby. There's a bag right here. That's my bag, yeah. Don't knock me. Not me, see? Look, not me. No, it ain't me. Look. Here, look. Well, this is going to be fun. We actually going to have to restart this system. We don't know who the heck turned on the controller. Can you believe this? <laughs> oh, man. What's up, T Swag? How you doing? What is up, Salt Face? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty fine. How about yourself, my dude? Oh, I'm all right. You know, I just got back from uh, the room, grabbed a couple of drinks, you know. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your Twitter? Uh, at T Swag with five Gs. Yeah, I'll let you type that, man. <laughs> Handle that when you see it. About to say. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. Got enough Gs in your name, man. Hey, it was, the, it was the closest one. <laughs> it was the lowest one, y'all. So what is this? What round is this right now? Right now, we're in uh, loser semis right now. Okay. Yeah. Did you play yet? Yeah, I've, I've already played. I'm in, I have to fight Cupcake in the winner's finals. Okay. And on? right now, the winner Sketch is waiting for the winner of this match. Sketch has been playing out of his mind this tournament. He really has been. I can't rap. Can you get, hey, put a one if you guys can hear T Swag. I want to make sure if they can, your mic's working. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're a city. Hey, the Masiaga. Yo, what's good, Masiaga? My boy. Best Sidira. Best Sidira. Yeah. There we go. Okay, one, make sure. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right. Now, the question. What will Jace Lake do? Thank you. Thank you, Jace Lake. I feel. Thank you. I said he had a great run with Aria, but right now, this is not the time. Yeah, no. This is the not time where you can't play your secondaries. You have to go with your main. And I, and I think that Jace Lake is really confident in this matchup. So I feel like watching this go, I feel like he's going to be able to do some damage. But I can't go against Jersey Boy Bass. Because Bass is the best. You know I'm That's originally a Jersey boy too, right? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not going against you. <laughs> Even though we're on different teams, I ain't going to go back. Here we oh, go. Let's go. Run something grab. Good stuff. I'll go for the, go for the low. Ooh, that's kind like a cover. Good tunnel by Bass. Now, Bass has told me he feels this matchup now in Season 2 became like a 5-5. Five -five. Yeah, I feel like now, now especially because Bass likes to jump a lot. So, because of the nerfs that Fulgor got with his full screen laser, yeah. that being nerfed, I feel like this is going to be, it's now much more of an even match than it yeah. was originally. Hmm. 
Wait a second, your mic's not on. Hmm. Oh my gosh, and right now, J Slick is in trouble. Look at his meter just getting drained, that instinct having no effect right now. Sucks to suck, literally. The best. Ooh, with that nice unbreakable. Look at that. S stealing oh, all of it. Good shadow counter. Oh, Ooh, the reset. Set. Well, let's see how it's standing. This can go for heavy. Ooh, and end that combo. That's going to be a good 46. This, is, uh, this isn't over yet. Ooh, good oh, good. That was a good break there by base. But now look at this. He's going to steal all of it. All, all of it. it. Oh, but good punish. Read that he was going to run and put out the medium punch. He got him. Good stuff. Right now, he is just trying to stay close to Spinal. He just want to fresh, Ooh, wants to pressure him. Hits the grab. Here we go. What's the mix-up going to be? Ooh, try to go in front of him. But that's a that was a great ball. read by Bass, doing the um, to heavy shoulder, which is projectile invincible when you use a skull with it. Ooh, try to run out of the way, but still gets hit by the DP. Oh, good teleport behind. Gets out of range, but still doesn't get hit. Right now, this is this is looking rough, but it isn't over yet. Over to the sofa. It's KI, baby. <laughs> oh no, that's game. game one. No, that's game, game two. two. That's Ooh. it. Jason Jay Slick has been eliminated. Jersey boys. Good stuff the bass. Good stuff to Jay Slick coming out here representing. He signed my yearbook, he said make ECT look free. And that's what he did. Good stuff. We'll uh, Alright, now we're gonna have base going against Sketch. Oh, Sketch the boy. This is actually Sketch's first like in-person tournament I've heard. So that's really impressive for a person to get top eight at their first round. And you know what? He deserves it. He deserves it because he's been putting in that work, he's been putting in that art, he's been doing everything. He's been doing everything really good. He beat CD Jr. not once, but twice to eliminate him from the tournament. Get once you on that mic. I'll put you on that mic. What? I'll put you on that mic. Right. Check, check, check. Can you hear me now? Boy, I want her in the mic. Alright, so yeah. Like I was saying on the other mic, this is... Uh, the sketch has been playing out of his mind. This is actually his first tournament, I believe. So, let's see what happens. Because, you know, sketch... Did it beat CD Jr. Not once, but twice. What the hell was that? All right, so now it's going to be Sketch versus Ultra Arcade's Bass. Shoutouts to Brandon Alexander for picking up this man. This got-like Spinal player. Now we're getting back into it. Now, I'm not sure how this match usually goes, whether it's um, even or not, but I'm definitely, I could definitely see it going either way. Um, depends on who gets the who gets the momentum early and how that goes. No, Bass kind of looks tired though, but sort of sketch, so I'm not sure. All right, let's get into it. We're going right into this. Ooh, gets hit with the low, short damage combo. But you know that's Conrad. He's gonna go for all these setups and he's trying to he's gonna try to keep you out and he's gonna try to land out. Ooh, good good try from Bass to try to slide under and go for a chicken block situation, but doesn't work. Oh, I'll get this by the explode. By sacrifice, I mean, now, maybe. this is a matchup that most people say is bad for Conrad, mainly due to the fact that Spinal has a teleport. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's unwinnable. Oh, yeah, no. Definitely. And right and now, Sketch showing why this is unwinnable. He is has a massive life lead right now. Yeah. Like, he is putting boots in butts. Real rap. I don't know how <laughs> esports this is, so I can't. I don't know if I can curse or not. No, we can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full esports mode, Mr. Esports. I don't have my suit jacket on like I did a combo breaker, but you know me. Oh, look at that! Short damage combo goes for the setup. Oh, gets hit by the windmill. Welcome back to the third grade. Oh, and that that juggle combo is gonna put a little bit more damage on him. Gets hit by the sand. Oh, that jumping medium. Oh, stole. All right, now he's gonna start to drain that meter. Now, Conra gets full screen. Oh, good punish on the explode by Bass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All of it. All of it, all of it, all of it. Gets a skull out of that, too. Oh, goes to the overhead. Missed time, did a little bit too early. Yeah, he tried to grab him there, but they, he was still in blocks, though. 
You know, for a lot of characters, getting grabbed by Khan Ra is actually a buff. Because if you look at, like, the jump ranges get extended. I don't know how that would explain how that would work in a Bastion's playstyle, as he is a very jumpy spinal. But as you can see, Bast takes the second health bar, the first health bar sketch, and we're into the last round. Now, can Bass bring this back? And if there's any player that I think that can, it is definitely Bass. He's a very momentum-heavy player, and so I feel like he can do uh -oh. this. Ooh! Uh-oh. Are we going to see it? Takes away his instinct. Gotta be careful, He's like, though. no free explodes so for you. Ooh! Good grab. Ooh, went for the, went good. Uh, he tried to suck up the, uh, the sacrifice, but he didn't go for it. Oh, no. Look at this. He has no skull. Oh, good stuff. He has one skull. One skull. Oh, he punishes the explode, but he, oh, he does it. What did I just say? What did I just say? Never count him out. Damage Ender, Ender. that's going to be game <gasps> one. Let's oh go. Keep gosh. it cool, calm, collected. Let's go. Look at me. Eye to eye. Eye to eye. Eye to eye. Let's go, fam. What a comeback. What did I just say? Did I just say that he could do this? Because I believe it should. Oh, we're back in game two. Bass, like I said, a very momentum heavy player. Taking that momentum from the first game, bringing it back into the second game. Oh, he dropped the combo, went for a reset, almost dropped it again. Oh, and he drops the combo again. What's going on? He's going for these reset setups that don't seem to be working out for him right now. Oh, gets hit by. Oh, early lockout. Doesn't choose to go for a long damage combo, only going for skulls right now. I believe that's a really good that's a really good thing. Oh, oh no. good punish on the explosion. Face the explosion again. Another lockout. That's oh. gonna be another skull. And look at it. Taking all of it. All, all of it. it. Oh, and he hit him with the overhead. He's like, you're not gonna block it? Well, guess what? You're blocking it. <laughs> good stuff. Oh man, right now, Sketch is in trouble. He Not doesn't have instinct. He has no meter. He has no oh, sand on the ground. He was too high. He got hit to he get hit by the EX skull. He cannot wake up. Okay, now he has a chance to wake oh up. Oh my Dude. god, did you see that teleport? Good stuff from Bass. Right now, Sketch has his work cut off for him, but an early lockout is not going to help things right now. Hits him with, oh my hits him with a skull. Look Shadow at this stuff. Oh, went, went for the grab. Good stuff with good tech by Sketch. Oh, we hit him with a command grab. Good stuff. Oh, goes for it. Let's go. Oh, Ooh, good man. break. Good break. Oh, he got hit by the low skull. Wasn't blocking his oh, knees. Oh, no. That pressure. Stealing more of his instant. That more of his meter. Good skulls. Oh, got hit by the shadow spinny spin. Welcome back to season one. Sidira play. Oh, gets hit by the grab. That's going to put him in danger. What's he going to do? Oh, what? He got hit by the, the got, scarabs? Yeah, he got hit by the shadow scarab there. Wow. Oh, that's going to be game. That is it. Went for the neutral jump. Nice got hit it. by the grab. Good stuff. Good stuff to sketch. You know, he eliminated a really good player in CD Jr., uh, but he just couldn't beat the Drizzy Boy Bass. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Bass has worked his way all the way to the Losers Finals. We are now at the top three of the tournament. It is now myself, Salt Face, and Cupcake. We're going to go ahead and winners. Let's go. Bass is waiting for us. Good stuff. And now I'm up. Are you up? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going to say biased commentary, but I'm going to say biased commentary. Because, you know, I'm not going to say that maybe Cupcake eliminated me, but Cupcake eliminated me from winners, and I was very sad. So, biased commentary, let me just say that. All right. So, next we are going to have in winners. Um, do you want me to do this? The names? I think so. I could try. I just hit save. Okay, wait, I click. Okay. Yomi Salt Face and TD Kobe. I'm gonna actually get in the, the front view, baby. Alright, I'm gonna wait until, uh, I'm gonna wait for the killer, you know. Wait to see who's on player one side and who's on player two. But guys, show me a one if you're feeling this commentary. Show me a two if you're not. Show me a show me a three if you think that C88 Cupcake's gonna win. Show me a four if Yomi or M Salt Face is gonna do that. Let's see, baby. All right, who's gonna be on player one? Who's gonna be on player two? Yo, shout out to Asaglo. Where are you at, though? Yo, guys, just tell me who's on player one and who's on player two. Yeah, it's winners finals, three out of five. This is winners finals, three out of five. My bad, guys. I should have updated you. I'm very sorry. <laughs> who's on one and who's on? Is Cupcake on one? Are you you were two? <laughs> Who, who's player one? 
Are you player one? Alright, alright. 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 Alright, so yeah, we are going to have, apparently, Cupcake on the player 2 side, and we're going to have Yomi Selfface on the player 1. Let's go back to the player cam. Uh, there are some headphone issues going on, because as a lot of people know, that this game is very reliant on sound and visual cues. Uh, Regida, uh, 94, I'm going to tell you the bracket right now. This is winner's finals, this is uh, Yomi Selfaces versus Cupcake, and the loser of this will play uh, Ultra Arcade Bass. <laughs> Ultra State. It's a rapper. Oh, yo. What's good, my god? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I hope to see you back at Evo. The Con City with the shut up. T-Spec. Yo, this better be a button check. This better be a button check. I hope this is button check. Okay. Okay. Xbox One, baby. <laughs> Okay, this is one check. Oh, I was getting mad scared. I was getting mad scared. <laughs> is it? All right, all right, all right. I got scared. I was sad. I was like, whoa. Okay, Th these two characters you do not see. How long is the streaming going? I can check that for you right now. Um, actually, I can't. Might be. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go on for a minute. What's good, man? Uh, update the controller. You know, those controller updates are got like got like. All right, Sawface, of course, going with his traditional orchid, but he does have a, I believe, a fug lore, and Cupcake going with that Saber Wolf. All right, let's see. Now, in my opinion, this matchup is in uh, Cupcake's favor. I don't know. I haven't seen this matchup a lot played in season two, mainly because a lot of the Wolf players switched to, to uh, Riptor. But let's see. Oh, good DP by Yomi Sawface. Good trade. That was, a, in my opinion, that trade's in uh, Cupcake's favor. Oh, gets hit. Short damaging combo. Goes for the grenade setup on the bottom. It's gonna put him out of grenade blast range. Oh, but good hit. Confirms it. Good break though by Cupcake. Looking to get these short damaging combos. Alright, tossing out these grenades. Trying to stay, trying to keep the neutral going. You know, he has a life. Yomi Sulfate has a life lead, so he doesn't need to go in, but he chooses to. Gets a little bit of damage, but gets broken. Oh, good dash to Eclipse. What is this, season one? Oh my god. Keats, please. Oh, he hit the crouching heavy. Good stuff to take the first health bar. That's 30%. Good stuff. I'm sorry, Night Slash, for not able to tell on you. Oh, good shadow counter by Cupcake. Could this be the, the first health bar? Oh, you know he's going to do these combos. What, how do you even break that? Come on. That's going to be the first health bar. Good stuff from Cupcake. Keeping his composure, and he's bringing it back. Oh, good hit by the overhead. Oh, goes, oh, oh, whoa. Okay. He did the Feral cancel instead of a grab. Wow. That was got like... Oh, gets hit by the... Ooh, the baton! The baton twirlers. Oh, good break on the heavies, though. Oh, dash to Eclipse. Season 1 stuff. Grab. I'll be special. Oh, and that's going to be the first game. Good stuff to Cupcake. Didn't even see it, yo. Cupcake was able to bring that right back. Let's bring it. All right. All right, guys, we'll get you the full stream in a second. Sorry, guys. Good to see good to see those lovely faces of our competitors. A oh, good good damage combo. That's going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be a level 3 cash out. There it is. Good stuff on the Tiger. Tiger knee. All right, good short damage combo. Grenade set up in the corner. Oh, but gets grabbed out of it, and that's going to protect Sablewolf from the grenade. Now, Cupcake right now is on... Has the life loss lead. <laughs> he does not have the life lead. It might be. So, facing you know, a good block from him. He's gonna block this clips. Oh, good pokes. Oh, but he gets hit by the overhead. Good, good break. I couldn't even tell that was got like. Oh, gets the slide and the DPE. Grenade set up. Oh, went low, but good backdash by Cupcake. Gets hit by the heavies, but good break by Cupcake on those heavies.
All right, you know, he's playing full screen. Selface does not need to go in. He can just stay back, throw those grenades, and he can just lane this game out, baby. This, ain't, this is Marvel, baby. Literally, you can just throw two grenades. Oh, gets hit by the... Get, hits him out of the dash, and that's going to take the first health bar from Cupcake. Oh, gets hit out of the dash by Eclipse. Good stuff. Oh, yo, wake up, Tiger needs DPs. Good stuff. Saw, saw the opening animation. Oh, gets hit by the unbreakable. The unblockable. Oh, try to catch him doing something. Trying to... Bleh, bleh. Try to caught him, get him the button, yo. Oh, good blocks, though, from Cupcake. Good punish. Grabs it up. Oh, good read on the jump. Hits him with that jumping heavy kick. Grab. Oh, he just did light. He was like, he was waving at her. He was like, hi. Oh, but gets hit by the splits. Ooh, good break, though. That's really a hard super to break, in my opinion. Or hard, uh, hard shadow to break. Oh, uh, EX Leaping Claw. Oh, uh, that was gonna be the Leaping Claw, that. Ooh, good throw. Ooh, wow. That was so smart with the Feral Cancel bait. Oh, but that drop. This could cost him the game. This could cost him. Oh, lockout. Not, no, not enough damage. Throws out a light. Grenade set up. Oh, killing the neutral. Just kidding. RIP. That's game two, baby. Remember, this This is three out of five, guys. He's talking to people. He's like, yo, what was that? How did I get hit by that? I hit a button, and then I got butt munched. Might be. Back into the game. <laughs> oh, go lows. Oh, good break. Good counter break. Made the solid read. He was like, he's been breaking my heavies all day. I'm not even sure that was heavies, but he did it. Good stuff. Good grab. He's in the corner. Let's see what damage he can put on him. Hit by the grenade. Oh, the unbreak, the unblockable. I keep saying unbreakable. My B, guys. I'm a CDR player, so all we do is unbreakables, right, guys? Oh, gets hit by the overhead. That's going to be an early lockout situation. Big damage, big damage. Oh, it goes low. Oh, wow, good sweep. Caught him hitting a button. Cupcake. Oh, this is going to be big damage. Is that going to be the first health bar? Almost. Oh, dash to Eclipse. Season 1, the Paul B special. Shout out to Paul B, guys. I'm sorry that he isn't here to share this glorious moment with you guys. I'm sure he would love to be playing Cupcake right now. But he's not here. I'm sorry. R.I.P. Paul B. Just kidding. He's not dead. Oh, good good hit with the low. Master combo. Oh, throws out the fire cats. Ooh, good punish. Oh! Wow. Oh, no, he got right with the empty jump. That's going to protect him. Oh. Luckily Sol luckily for Cupcake, Solvace had no meter to shadow counter that. But all this blocking. Oh, my God. Conditioned him so perfectly. That's going to be the game. Good stuff to from Cupcake. A oh, quick 3-0. Oh. Now you know, uh, Saltface will be staying on. But that puts Cupcake in the grand finale, baby. All right, so next we are going to see Ultra Arcade Bass versus Yomi RM Saltface. Now, if you look... And it's all face his face. He's literally like, my face is all salt right now. Like literally, it's all white. Just kidding. I'm not trying to be racist. Might be. The hashtag Wolf Pack guys. People saying that Wolf isn't a good character. Needs to be watching this. Making people think that he's so good. Let's go, baby. Salt face, why no pick Fulgor? I don't know. Maybe I should ask him. I'm not gonna ask him though. <laughs> All right, so up next we have the we have losers finals. Remember, guys, this is three out of five. So let's see. Oh, it might be. It's plugged into like a white USB cord. going. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you over here. <laughs> well, Soulface had to play. I came in, I was like, do you want me to do a commentary? And they're like, yeah, sure. Chat likes me, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Our Kappa hates me, but chat loves me. Yeah. I'm, uh, how many viewers? Oh, we're at 
879. Better numbers than the beatdown. Just kidding. I love the beatdown. Shouts to beatdown. Shouts to Ape It Zombie. Well, there's like a quick release right there. Yeah. Yeah, just pull that out. What's good, Cammy? How you doing? Alright, guys. While we're waiting, let's see what the chat thinks will happen. Let me get a number one. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Guys, this is a run back from the Commonwealth GF Grand Finale, baby. Let's see. Who do you guys like? Do you guys, for one, press one, guys, if you like Ultra Arcade's bass. Now press two, if you like Yomi, Ruthless Mayhem, Salt Face. Uh, I'm seeing some spinals. <laughs> Yo, t Swag want to beat down and I always act in Hollywood? Yo, I always, act, I always act Hollywood, real rap. I'm the most Hollywood guy ever. One answer. Pressing three for T Swag. That's what I like to see. I'm not even in top eight. Shout out to Gamer Blake and uh, Cupcake for beating me in uh, in uh, top eight in my pool. That was good stuff. Good stuff by them. Love them guys. <laughs> oh, this story. This story caught me out with my old acting days, telling me to go play commercials. I see a four for Shin Tristan. I respect it. Good stuff. I see some PJ Salt faces. Oh, L.I. Joe calling out who wants some free stuff. Baka free with a T-Swag hype. I respect it. Four for Shin Tristan. I respect it. All right. Do we have sound yet? I don't know. Remember, guys, this is just a... This is a button check right now. Teeth like confirm that's all. It's the boy wonder guys. Press six for Keats. Yo, Dream Crusher is actually in the venue, I believe. And he's tweeting and he's in the chat. Please stop. You are literally wasting bandwidth right now. You could be just over here chilling with the boy wonder T Swizzle on the mic. Seth Lump's trying to get love for him. But no, that's not gonna happen because he plays it here like me. Uh, Alright guys, we're having some some headphone issues. Like I said, this game is very reliant on um, on sound on uh, sound cues, and uh, a lot of the high level players respect it. So, we gotta figure that out. Now, I believe we're gonna see the the standard match that we've been waiting for. Which is Spinal versus Orchid. All right, let's go, baby. We got Bass versus Yomi R M Salteru Feseru. Oh, we got the TJ comma thing. Let's go. All right, Salface jump again. Catches him. Uh, good lockout. Oh, gets hit by the, the back heavy batons. Oh, nice quick combo trying to get damage. Now, that's, uh, that seems to be uh, Salt Face's style, where he just tries to get damage in quick. Oh, good neutral jump, though, by Bass. Oh, that's going to be a big body damage. He's not Well, he's going to get at least one skull. Oh, hits him out of the DP with a skull, though. Oh, and that's going to be the first health bar from Selfface. Selfface looking really on point right now. You know, this could just be a game. This could be just a read game for Bass, so I don't know. Oh, good break. 
break the broke the super before it came out. Keats, please. I don't know. Oh, hits him with the overhead. Good early lockout. Oh, that's gonna all of it. All of it. Oh, went low. Good back dash from Saltface though. Oh, hits him with a low. Oh, he's gonna get bye bye instinct. Ooh, bye bye birdie. No, good stuff. Using the shadow fire cat to get out of the corner and to punish the skull. Oh, that's going to be big body damage. This could be the... Oh, misses the grab, but he gets him with the low. Good stuff. That's going to be the first game. Yomi, salt face. Looking really on point right now. One step closer to flushing out Ultra Tech. Supreme victory. Good stuff from salt face, though. Playing really on point. But this could just be a... This could be a read for Bass, though. Whoa, okay. We're just gonna jump into it with a knee into a to a, a Russian um, shield. Couldn't remember the name of the move, so I just made one up. Oh, good grab out of the grenade. Oh, it reverse sides. How do you block that? Bra Hits him with it. My bad. Oh, good overhead. Oh, early lockout. This could be lead to some big damage. That's a level four ender, but he doesn't have shadow meter, so he can't use the, the DP ender. Oh, tried to go for it. I know what Bass was going for. He was trying to read the jump into a forward heavy punch. Into a punch, but he didn't get it. Oh, unbreakable. Oh. Bye-bye instinct. Bye-bye meter, too. Oh, running in. He's like, I don't care. Oh. Luckily, um, Selface is able to get rid of the curses. Oh, uh, but not in time. And he's going to have all these skulls sucking all of his meter dry. Let's see how Selface can recover. This is only game two, guys. Oh, good grab. Good poking to grab. Oh, he's just poking him. He's like, don't touch me because I'm just going to poke you with this fire poker. Oh, good read on the DP to throw up the up skill to protect himself. Oh, good teleport behind him with the with the, 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 the sword. <laughs> Making up moves. That thing. Good grab. In the corner. What's he going to do? Oh, behind him. All right, now, Bass can just literally play lame, and he can do this. Oh, but that's going to be the end of his first health bar. Oh, a good run under to grab to get the grab, and that's going to be the, the first, that's going to be Bass's first win. It's now 1-1. One, one. Supposed to be at 8 o'clock, but I don't know if did they even take sign up. On one. All good. Oh, good stuff. Selfface is going low, catching him. Which is, uh, loser's final? Loser's final? Loser's Good damage. It's, it's one of the top three, I don't know. Justice. Oh, uh, yeah, what's going on? We're still doing KI. Good damage. Oh, I don't know. Is he? I, probably not. My sister's is still under there. What, the bricks? Yeah. Where's that? Oh, Probably big damage. Doing, uh, oh, good poke out. Big damage. That's going to suck all of his meter out. Look at all that instinct dry. Oh, gets hit by the DP. But you know what? That was a good trade. Uh, that was a good trade getting all that meter gone. Goes to the good run up grab. Overhead? No, sorry. Oh, goes low, gets hit by it. Good stuff. Early lockout. Can't take out of this grab. Yeah, the assistant is out there. Oh, here comes, uh, here comes the up skull. Oh, good block, though, from Saltface. It blocks whatever grab was coming out, I think. Oh, but that's going to be the end of the uh, Saltface's first health bar. You know, Bass can bring this back. It's still 1-1. Oh, we need to update the scores. Um, oh, these skulls. Oh, yes, it's wrong on the heavies. Oh, but good DP on the, the, medium, on the medium punch. Made a read on the button. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this sucking damage. What? A 1-1. One, 2-1 one. One Soul Face now. All right, Soul Face is on match, on set point right now. Bass really needs to make a read, make a switch, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the stream know of some new technology I got. So what you do is you go to character select and you change your color. Bass saying, no, I want the OG spin out. I want that Mr. Bones, that spooky, scary skeleton, baby. That jolly pirate. Oh, gets hit with the light punch. Good frame trap. Wasn't even a frame trap. We got hit by it. Oh. 
Instead to get hit by the sword. Oh, good break, though. I don't know how that keeps happening, but that's really good stuff. All right, good sucking damage. He's sucking up all this meter. Look at all his damage, meter, instinct, all his right now. Oh, good read on the DP. Throws up the up school to protect himself. Overhead. Oh, big damage. Good break on the mediums. Oh, teleport behind. Good slide. And that's going to open him up for some big booty, big body damage. Oh, and that's going to that's going to be his first self bar. Now, Bass really needs to stay in control. Can't really, you know, lose it right now. He's got a big health lead, but he can't let that get in his way of winning. Ooh, and chooses not to shadow counter. Oh, but good punish, though. Ooh, gets another skull. Up skull. Ooh, okay. That was weird. I would have thought the, um, the, the absorb would have gotten it. But I guess not. Up skull. Ooh, reads on the grab and no punish after the skull hit because the light was too far away. Crouching light. Flips into the other side. Yo, look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. 2-2. Two, two. And it's set point for Bass and Salt Face. Good stuff from both competitors. Let's see who can even it out. You know, Salt Face looking up. He's like, I got I to gotta keep composure. And Bass is like, you know, I'm Bass. I make spooky, scary skeletons look really good. And I love the color green and purple. And my favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. Not sure about that. Made that one up good heavy on the air to air. Oh, he sucked that he was like, you're going to keep doing that? Really? I'm just going to give myself a free skull. Oh, gets hit by the grenade, though. Thought it was going to be gone. Is not. Oh, good double, good double medium linkers. It leads him to 20%, but you know, that 20% is going to suck 20% of his meter and instinct away from him. Oh, he's behind him! Oh, ooh, I would have went with the low. He was standing for a long time. He was still on hit stun in that. Oh, heavies. Good DP. Goes to the end. Oh, good pokes. Oh, teleport behind. Good stuff. Okay, you know what? Yeah, it was really good because he protected himself. Good punish. I don't know. I would have waited until he's gonna hit the ground, and then I would have done a heavy punch and do some other stuff. But you know, ooh, good overhead. That's gonna be Selfie's first health bar. Oh. <laughs> All right, goes low. That's gonna be. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more damage than it actually was. Do you see how many teleports he just did? He just did like three teleports and gets grabbed because of it. Man. Bass really needs to stay stay calm, keep himself collected. And so does Saltface. Saltface coming off her, coming on after that health bar win. And now he's really gotta stay calm. And he looks really collected right now. Oh, grenade set up in the corner, goes low. Good blocks from Bass though. Making the read on the 50-50. Sweet. Oh, goes, chooses to take more of his instinct. Gets a stool set up. Good grab to protect him. Oh, this could be it. He's gotta break this. Oh, he doesn't have to. Chooses to go for a lower damage combo to keep himself safe. He's going to flip under. Oh, good stuff. Good teleport stuff. Oh, no. Oh, that's game. That's game. Good stuff. Yomi RM Saltface has defeated his demon, Yultra Arcade Bass. Good stuff to both competitors. Uh, Saltface, I bet, is extremely happy, happy getting his run back from the Commonwealth and taking that game. Good stuff, but now Saltface will have to face an even bigger demon of his this tournament, and that is Cupcake. All right, guys, this is it. This is your grand finale, baby. It will be in loser side. Yomi RM Saltface versus, I believe, C88 Cupcake. Hi. Yeah. Now, guys, I want to see those ones and twos and those threes and fours. Let me see who you guys like. Press one for your winner side champion, Cupcake. Press two for Yomi RM Saltface. Who's um, who's player two? Uh, Cupcake. I'm not sure if it's C88 or I just know Cupcake.
Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right, guys. This is always picking Agonos, but you know. Agonos. Oh, that big rock monster. The Love big him. rock lobster. The rock and roller. <laughs> Let's go. You know, the fir the first time I saw him, I was so fascinated. I watched like a 45-minute demo on him, mm -hmm. and I thought that he had a fish tank for a foot. I was like, what is up with his foot? It looks like this big like, block. Could you imagine if the character had like a fucking aquarium? Like just moving around in his foot as he's walking around? Yo, he's got sharks and stuff? Look at oh. his foot. It looks like, it looks like a fish tank. Right? Like a dirty, algae-infested <laughs> fish tank? Fish tank. He looks like the Statue of Liberty, though. A little bit, yeah. I like the, the autumn one. That's my favorite color. Yeah. Thing. I like the... um. Have you seen his accessories? Because like, there's one that makes him look like a traditional, like um, I think it's like Chinese temple or whatever. Okay. And Is the one that makes him look like the rock fighter from the NeverEnding Story? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a banger. That's awesome. But guys, this is it. It is Cupcake versus Salt Face. This is it. This is literally clan warfare if you think about it. Any character with that descended head like below the shoulders is freaking awesome. Whoa, I didn't even realize it. But... Uh, Salt Face went full gore. Now, I feel like Cupcake can go Agonos because he does have another set that he he can change back to Wolf. Is that like going full potato? What? He went full gore. Full gore? Go full potato? Yeah. Oh, good grab though. But he does, oh, he chunks up. Make sure. Oh, he hits him with the overhead. He's like, I'm going to put these walls up. All in wall, it's just another brick in the wall. And that's what he's going to try and put them through right now. Gets hit by the heavy. Oh, he's like, oh, nah, he fam. The walls down. Oh, break down the walls. Chris Jericho. <laughs> he's like, you're not going to respect my wake up, so I'm not going to respect you, fam. <laughs> oh, he's going to have to take all these blocks right now. Because, oh, but he doesn't have to because he can just the people's fist in him. Oh, hits him with the, oh, he has now has the club. Oh, chunks up though. He's got those. He's got one chunk, so he's got one hit of hype, um, super armor. Oh, he just squashed him. Bam, bam. What are you doing, fam? Oh, good break on the mediums. He just dive kicked. What is this? Iron Galaxy made this game, but I don't think it's dive kick. Where's Jafali? Okay, good DP though. Good DP. <laughs> Soulface, I think, is a little bit shaken right now. He's like, what do I do against this character? This isn't Wolf. Oh, choosing not to shadow counter anyone he does, he misses it. Oh, good grab out of the people's fist. I don't know why he keeps saying the people's fist. He's just trying to punch him. Oh, good break. Oh, he's just trying to keep him out. He's like stomping on him. Welcome to Stomp, fam. It's like a music festival. Ooh, good DP. I didn't even realize how close the health bars were. Oh, he's behind him. Oh, no. Oh, good counter break. Oh my god, that's gonna be the first game! Good stuff from it, Salt Face to bring back the first game! You know, Cubby didn't wasn't able to keep his chunks up, and so he wasn't able to get the win. Now, this second game, cupcake has gotta be able to keep his chunks. He's already lost one, he's gotta be able to chunk back up. And there's his last one. That was Salt Face that went? Yeah, Salt Face won. Oh, good grab. Sends him back into the corner. Well, close to at least. He's going to put up a wall. Puts up the wall behind him now. Oh, no throw. Oh, good break on the heavies. Oh, he's throwing out those kicks. Oh, trying to crouch back. Oh, gets hit by the DP on the grab. Good punish. Oh, hits him with a rock spin. Oh, good break. That was opener to Ender. Oh, but, and it also breaks the wall. Good stuff. We got achievements, full gore novice. <laughs> Ooh, hits him with the back of the hand. Flick of the wrist. Oh, good grab, good reset. Good stuff from Salt Face. Oh, I thought he was going to go behind him. I was going to get hit by that so hard. He's just getting this meter. Oh, he's just playing this game. Oh, but gets hit because Juggernaut of Punch. Juggernaut Punch. He has, well, like, the best moves from so many big characters. <laughs> he's got the Hugo Big Boot Stop. He's got like, uh, what's his face? Is the, the one crouching kick from uh, like Lex Luthor? Oh, chunks up, good stuff. He's got um, Sasquatch's finger flick. Oh, puts up the wall behind him. Oh, and he doesn't get anything off of that. Um, 
the down punch. <laughs> the overhead. There we go. That's the word. Ooh, that doesn't count as a knockdown? No. Uh, it was 3-2. Uh, 3-2. Three 3-2. Two, three two. Three, three two, three two. Oh, big damage. Big body and a big damage combo. What is that? 51%. Come on. Xbox Live. Oh, he threw the Bam Bam Baton at him and he misses! Good punish. He was invisible. I couldn't see him. Xbox One, what are you doing not rendering these graphics? Real rap. Alright. Yomi Soulface, one game away from resetting the racket. But, you know, I don't feel like Cupcake's that kind of scared because, you know, he has one set to himself where he can literally just... He can literally just, like, breathe. He can be He's like, got right. cushion. He's, He's got, got cushion. cushion. He's in winners. So... Even once so you lose that set, though, that cushion is gone. And then you're, you have a mental <laughs> mind block on you because now you have to think, oh, no, what if he brings this back? And, you know, he's kind of scared right now. You can see he's got cupcakes. He's bringing him back to Sable Wolf. You know, the ice-colored Sable Wolf. He wants to blend in on this hot stage with no ice. I don't even know. Let's get back into this game. Oh, good jumping heavy kick to start off this game. Oh, opens it up with some big body damage. Good pokes. Oh, oh, early lockout but drops the combo. Going, opting for a reset, Sorry. but doesn't get it. Injustice, I think, after this. Yeah. Good tech. Good sweep. Goes low. Oh, we're going to be joined by the big man. Crusher. Shock. All right. Oh, goes for the overhead, punishes the grab. Good stuff. What is up, my man? What is up, my man, Crusher? All right, what's going on, guys? It is 2-0 right now. Oh, goes for the counter break. Not going to be able to get it. Oh, he did it oh, again. Oh, did it again. Oh, and he got a lockout, but he still drops his combo. What is he doing? Okay, so Salt Face switched over to full go, I see. Yeah, you know, he was, he was feeling it more for the um, for at least the um, the Aganos matchup. Okay. And he seems to be playing the, the Sable matchup really well right now. So. Yeah, he I've, has Cupcake down 2-0. You know, but Cupcake is in winners, so this is grand final. So Cupcake is in winners, okay. and Selfface is in losers. So even if Cupcake loses the set, it's not the end of the world. Cupcake can uh, can afford to make a few mistakes here. Yeah, he he's taking the. I believe he's probably making these first three games a read. He's like, all right, this full war is gonna do this, this, and this. I'm gonna do X, Ooh, Y, and Z and punish dash that. Cross up, and he almost had it. You know, uh, Cupcake really likes to go for the Paul, the early Paul B special where it's the stabs through Eclipse. Yeah, season one, baby. Oh, Ooh, he almost got, the got it. Read on that. Good stuff, though. Good grab. Oh, got him going low. Block your knees, boy. Let's see what. Oh, oh no good mix pokes. up at all. Is that gonna be the game? That's game. Oh, uh, good stuff. All right, two one, two one. You're good. You're good. Soft face. You know, looking looks a little bit shaken right now. He's like, all right. All right. I got to get myself back into this game. Yeah, he has a lot to think about because he definitely wants to reset this on uh, Cupcake. Yeah, he wants to put him on edge. Oh, but the Sable is still acting super Cupcake strong with, right now. Uh, the short combos there. Yeah. Both these players are doing shorter combos in favor of um, better setups on the ground. Getting the hard knockdown from it. Like, again, going for the overhead. Early lockout. Choosing, opting not to go for a longer damage combo, but go for a setup. Dash to Eclipse. Season 1, baby. Goes low, and that's going to be more damage. Oh, tried to punish the instant call. He can't shadow counter, but wow. He should have had a punish on that. He couldn't. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Look at him go. I feel like, yeah, Cupcake's made a read. Salt, salt face is down a bar, and it looks like Cupcake is on the download. This is but a Daigo Umahara level right download, now. if you ask me. But let's see. Oh, OK. I think can go for it. There's Try a wall splat. Fireball, teleport, let's go. Behind him, good setup and, and counter, counter breaks. breaker. That's going to be the bar. He's going to get these pips, though. Bum, 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 bum. That's going to be the first health bar. It's dead even right now. So let's see how this goes. And Cupcake sitting on instinct. Yes. Oh, goes for the lights. Oh, there good overhead. Go. Let's see. Oh. Cancel. Yep, feral cancel because he's safe. Oh, Ooh, tried it. The shadow counter on that was that. smart, though. That was smart. He's super scared of DP because he can just fail cancel and cancel yep. it. He's got to get out of this corner right now.
people are distracting us from this match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, lasers. Good, deep, good job making the TV on safe. Good stuff. Oh, good punish, though. All right. Soulface got to keep this safe. Not breaking the heavies, you know? No, he doesn't want to risk a counter breaker. Of course. Oh, with the walk up grab. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh why are you not doing he, that? That was open and ender. He could have broke that. Oh, oh, I would have done it. Oh, oh, that's game. It's 2-2. 2-2. 2-2. Two, 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 two. Two, two. face looking visibly shaken right now. He's like, yo, dog. <laughs> What's going on? And you know, for me, I got to go with Cupcake on this one. Man. Oh, man. Wolf, Wolf pack all the way. Wolf pack all the way, fam. Unless you're a Sidira player. In mm, which case, unless. I'm not about it. <laughs> there's, there's not many of you out there. <laughs> no, there's like eight. <laughs> Shoutouts to the two that were here. <laughs> Me and my boy Hernandez. So this is it. This is do or die. This Let's is do or Let's die for like. Salt Face. This Let's is see what they're going in. They're going back at it. Cupcake with the calm look on his face. You know, I don't know. Would you have switched to Orchid at this point? Because this is literally Salt Face's last I, chance to do anything. I think he should have. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, good grab. Good grab on the dash. He had the read on the dash. Oh, good oh, overhead. But there goes overhead. Short damage combo goes to the setup. Ooh, Ooh, good grab. Empty teleport into grab. Oh, it goes low. Good break on by Cupcake. Cupcake with a lot of good reads. All right, not having to worry about any shadow counters right now. Oh, but good breaks. Oh, Ooh. my God. And that, that is going to hurt. He is all up in that booty. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That feral cancels. This is that last red bar right Soul here. Soul face looking visibly shaken again. He is literally scared out of his mind. Okay, couldn't shadow counter. That was a good situation. Oh, he's got meter to shadow counter now. Yep. Oh, good backdash. Oh, yeah, I think he was just out of range. I don't think he backdashed, so that's my mistake. So each player at point game. Saltface can reset it here. Oh, trying to keep this game into a neutral. Why would you DP? Mm. But good stuff. Trying and we get a punish. Trying to keep punishes, him punish attempt. Oh, good DP. Fireball. Oh, Ooh. who said Fulgore doesn't have a zoning game anymore? What, what nerf? What, what nerf? Oh, good fireball. I almost said throw ball. And Cupcake is going to have to play the, the patience game here. I don't pick know. And, pick and choose when to go in. Oh. Oh, Ooh. missed it. Oh, oh wow. He got the grab on there. There was no punish. Cupcake literally laughing that off. He's like, so what? I missed it. I'm up a set. Oh, good punish on the grab. You okay. cannot lock out. End it. Don't lock out. Oh, GG. GG. Oh, and, no. And GG, RIP. GG, RIP. We're going to see an instant pop from Cupcake soon. Oh, why would you throw that heavy there out? There we go. No, that's game. That's game. Boom. What a and comeback. C88 Cupcake is your East Coast Throwdown 2015 champion. Salt that salt face. Man. Is literally salty. Can I see some PJ salts in the chat for salt face? <laughs> But congratulations to all of Top yeah, 8. Congratulations to everybody that played. Honestly, I don't think there was a single pool that didn't have at least one killer in it. Now, now Salt Face looks a little salty, but he's just passionate, guys. Yeah, yeah, he is know? passionate. He's, he's, gotten, he's gotten second at the past three majors. Yeah. And he's just been he's been, he's been grinding. He's but, been you grinding know, it hard, man. And here comes the Salt Waterfall. He's going he's gonna to be crying. It's, like the, it's the Chloride Ride. <laughs> the Chloride Ride. What's the name? What's that salt brand? Shit. Don't, don't worry, salt face. You still got Morton's? Okay. Morton's, yeah. What's the name? Morton. <laughs> Good Morton's. Definitely still got MK for him. So Damn. he's down, but he's not out. I, in, the na in the words of Chumbawamba, I get knocked down, but I get up again because you can never keep me down. There you go. I believe that's going to be salt face's motto for the rest of this year. Very yeah. nice. Hopefully we see him at CEO, and hopefully we see him at EVO. To collect on some of that community fund money. Now, those pot bonuses, guys, yeah. they are serious. You know, I'll be there. Crusher, will you be at any of the tournaments? I'm not attending, unfortunately. That Nintendo guy you down? That, uh, that family man status. Oh, I got you, I got you. See, I'm too young to be a family man. Yeah, you, you can travel the world. You'll be all right. I can show you the world. Yo, he's tight? Uh, I see Yo, an exhibition tight, like, later tonight. I see an exhibition later tonight. Is it is it that bizarro flame? That easy money. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see some of that action. 
Yeah, everyone's just kind of now like fraternizing with yeah. everyone, talking about you should have done this, you could have done that. It's that heat of the moment, man. Yeah. That heat of the moment. That those top eight nerves, anything can happen. But shout outs to L.I. Joe for running right now, a fantastic event. Yeah, guys. The venue's beautiful. If you haven't been to Morristown before, this place is amazing. Yeah. The venue's amazing. The city's amazing. The air is clean. It's fresh. It's like uh, it was never touched by the wilderness. There's rolling hills everywhere, honestly. It's if you beautiful. Look, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful state. New Jersey. <laughs> when you think of New Jersey, you don't think of a beautiful state. But this Morristown's that. Okay. I think we're going to put on some injustice now. I think the Justice Tournament has started. There's an Injustice guys. tournament? I think so. Yeah. Like five like people? 20 something. 20 something. 20 something? That's not bad. That's like a KI tournament. That's that is like a KI tournament. <laughs> and that's not bad. Hey, that game never dies, man. That just goes to show you the community supports. This guy. Jersey Boys. For anybody I'm wondering about Jersey. MKX, it should be finished tomorrow on our Toro stream. Yeah. That's yeah. Everybody yeah. keeps asking, but that's, that's, that's what it's been. That's uh, the main event at the end of the day. Yeah. They're, uh, just, they're just giving me stuff to stream to keep yeah. me busy, basically. Um, if you guys want to see the stream, the stream schedule, not the stream schedule, um, you can go to ect ectthrowdown EC throwdown dot com. com, click on streams Sunday, and that'll give you a PDF document for the stream schedule for Twitch.tv TV forward slash NYC Furby for the ect official mainstream. Um, so yeah, injustice coming up next. It's been resurrected, injustice. Yeah. Re Resurrection. Reanimated. It's like there's TJ Combo coming back to life. There's no this such thing as a dead game, guys. What does he say? It's not over? It's not over. And he bumps his fist together. Shout out to Rebello. This was KI. Uh, uh, we just finished KI. Yeah, we just finished KI. I came down for the grand finals. Yeah. I was in my room sleeping, and I came down for the grand finals. But you commentated with the boy Wonder. Yeah, I had to. Now you know. All right, guys, so this was uh, KPB Crusher. I'm going to stay on for Injustice, even though I know nothing about the game. This guy's a champ, and I am out of here, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Continue to support the community, yep. and I will see you guys later. Shout out to Keats. Alright, as we're waiting for an Injustice setup to arrive here, just like to uh, give a time out for a shout out to uh, one of our personal sponsors for Combat Network. They uh, donated during the Hellraiser drive uh, and they uh, selected to have some ad time on our streams, which uh, we uh, graciously have given them. Um, Power Up Fighters is located in Ohio and uh, Ohio has a pretty big scene out there, so if you guys are looking for something going on, it's a pretty serious uh, arcade, and uh, it's based in Cincinnati. And they're working to uh, develop some uh, MKX community out there. So uh, anybody in that uh, in that area, I guess even in uh, maybe like the uh, Indiana and like uh, West Virginia, possibly uh, even Chicago, you know, if you're looking for some action and you're willing to travel a bit, Definitely give them a give them a shout uh, as they support us directly. So, all right, we're gonna get uh, Rio on here, I guess. What are we gonna do? Just do some injustice? I don't know. I'm waiting for them to tell me. So, <laughs> so yeah, shout outs to uh, Power Up Fighters. Really appreciate you guys helping us out. And of course, the RM Ruthless Mayhem. Everybody knows who they are. It's all about those biceps. They uh, also directly support Combat Network and donated during the stream, which 
So uh, check them out. Join them. If you can't beat them, join them, basically. Yeah.